It's National Dog Day, and the pups are jumping for joy because you have a chance to win them a free spa day at a doggy oasis. Be cool, not cruel. A local group is on a mission to teach kids what it really means to be a good pet parent. Surprise your pup with a delicious snack. We have easy-to-make, ice-cold doggy treats to beat the heat. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <laughs> <laughs> we need jingle bells with the, the barking dogs on there. Yes. Hello and happy Monday, everybody. Boy, the tails are wagging, the noses are cold. <laughs> And we have a large green dog. Yes, and SA Live crew members going the extra mile, <laughs> jumping into costumes. And as you can see, we have officially gone to the dogs today on National Dog Day. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Oh, I love it when there, we have you know dogs here. You just feel so much better when they're around. And we are celebrating National Dog Day, as you know, with an entire show devoted to man's, woman's, boy's, girl's best friend. Yes. And... You know, you look on Facebook, Instagram, all of the dog pictures, everybody has a zillion pictures of their dog because their dog is the cutest, of course. Of course. Of course. Of but course. How about going one step further and having a pet portrait? Yes, yes. Someplace in distinction over the fireplace, perhaps. Yes. Yes. But be sure to share those pictures of your pets at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to see those. All right. They are beautiful, one of a kind ways to make sure your pet always has a place in your home. Look at this. Aww, yes, Easy Kanko, local artist behind these works of art, is here making a special creation for us that I cannot see. No, you cannot, because okay. it is a portrait of Cash. Yes, my two dogs, Cash and, and Savvy. Savvy. Cash, of course, named after Johnny Cash, but turns out it's just because he costs a lot of cash <laughs> to maintain, so it kind of well, works both ways. cook for him homemade well, he's, meals on a daily basis. Well, he's 88 anyway, pounds. Good afternoon, <laughs> Easy. So, uh, any size, any shape as far as the portraits are concerned? Uh, yeah, I start all the way down here with the minis, and I go all the way up to something that fits above a fireplace. All sizes. Okay, and does the dog, you know, have to come in, model for you, kind of yeah. have that awkward moment when they take off their, you know... <laughs> it's a little awkward. You know? What about sitting for a portrait? That'd be kind of tough with some dogs. So. It's kind of hard to get them to sit still, yeah. So usually I just have people send me their favorite portrait, their favorite photo from their camera reel on their phone. And, and what's interesting, because this is a picture of Cash and Savvy right mm -hmm. here that you're doing this portrait from. We're going to yep. reveal the portrait a little bit, but you actually Photoshop that yeah. just to make it look better and, and kind of rearrange the dogs a little bit. Yeah, just that, to right? put them together, make it look nice. Yes. How, how long does it take to do, a, obviously depending on the size, but something, you know, what is that, about uh, 16 by 24? Yeah, 16 that by doing? 20. This one usually takes about a month, maybe 40 hours, 50 hours, something like that, if I... <laughs> if it goes easy for me. Easy. <laughs> yeah. How did you get started into it? Well, I just kind of started doing it for fun, painting my own dogs and cats, and people really liked it, so now I do it professionally. What's the most unusual pet, you know, folks have asked you to paint? Probably a goat. Oh, a goat. Had somebody oh. ask me to paint their fish. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, but I'm down. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> do you have a, a favorite Breed a dog that you like to paint? Favorite breed a dog? My dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? See? Good answer. Good answer. Well, she is going to continue on mm -hmm. with that portrait. I had a sneak peek of it, and you are going to love it. I know. I don't want to. I don't know if we're showing it. Okay. And if people want to uh -huh. get a hold of uh, you, mm -hmm. just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. Keep painting mm -hmm. easy, and we'll be back. But let's head outside right now, and so we can get down and dirty and get ready to exercise with all of our pups and yes there they are going to town yes this workout is much more than just a walk it's strength cardio and agility training for you and your pup and angie aramburu the owner and instructor next. of go fetch run is here to show us some of the newest fitness activities they've designed for you and your dog hello hello who do we have here Hi. first of all this is sprinkles she was a rescue she's about three years old Hi, Sprinkles. By the way, that is Max in, in front of Sprinkles there. Yes. Our dog. So. Yes. All right, so the whole point of this is to just kind of bond with your dog and get a little exercise in because people like to take their dog for a walk, but take it one step further, right? Exactly. It's a great way to get in a really good, intense workout when you don't just want to walk the dog or run with the dog. And some dogs aren't very good runners, so it allows you to get in a good workout. Your dog gets exercise. 
They can practice basic training skills and learn a few new tricks. And it's less boring, you know, for them too. It keeps them engaged if you for change sure. it up. Okay. It is. And it's the most fun workout I think that you'll find. Okay. And okay. if the obstacles are too hard, like say for, for little Max here, we can we can modify it, right? Yeah, everything can be modified for dogs and people. So it truly is for anyone if or he, any It's going to be okay, Mike. If he would just try, he could make it over that. We'll, we'll see that later. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what's this first one right here? So we're going to start with our agility run through the cones. And we have? We have Celine and Zeus. Oh, wow. They make it look very easy. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, trick, thank you, Max, for your bark of support there. <laughs> the trick to this one is you want to keep a short leash at your side. Okay. That keeps control of the dog, which is a good right. training Ready, technique, and it also keeps them from tripping you or, or you tripping over them. Okay. Nicely done. Nicely good done. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. Very good. Okay. You got style points there, Max. <laughs> you, you, you done good. So. Okay. And, of course, where do classes take place? At Phil Hardberger Park. Phil Hardberger Park off of Blanco. And our season grand opening, which will be our third year, is Sunday, September 8th at 8.30 a.m. And that is perfectly normal. Okay, <laughs> all right, so this, this next obstacle, because um, Celine just tried yes. to do it. Maybe yes. we can come back and try it and, comes try and off show easy, it off again. So it but, doesn't mm -hmm. trip you. So right. would you like me to demonstrate yep, again, short leash? If you want it more challenging, you can do two feet. If you want less challenging, one. Sorry, sprinkles. So you do the jump, and then you invite your dog to do the jump after you. Come on, sprinkle! <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready okay. Okay. hot out here. All right, here. <laughs> I'll, I'll modify it if no. Max okay. if Max ready? doesn't want to do it, OK? Running start. Here we go, Max. One, Max. two, three. Ready? Let's go. Go, Max. Yay. Go, Max. Go, Max. Come on. He's like, he's like but on, Papa, I can go. All right. right. Yay. Yay. That was very good. You, you did it just on oh camera, God. not in rehearsal, but very now, good. Now, of course, <laughs> treats are really good when you're training your dog, but you have another way to kind of reward them, right? Yes, we prefer to reward the dogs with movement, and it's a good uh, habit to get into with your own dogs. So during class, we do strength exercises where sometimes we ask them to sit while we're working out, and then we always reward them with movement. So we'll immediately go, we call it a thank you jog. So we'll take them on a little thank you jog and back. And Wait, um, Do you think Max would like the thank you jog? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like know until you try. <laughs> it's enough for him just to go outside and go, oh my god, okay, it's I'll get that out of the way and then come back. Me back in. Yes. He takes a nap after that. So, so uh, what are we doing right here? You said the, the infamous burpees, right? Yes, we're going to take burpees to a new level. We're going to do them with our dog. And so this actually works their core and their hindquarters. Okay. Celine and Zeus are going to demonstrate really quick. So they can either start in a seated position or a standing position, and that's going to help their hips and core. So she's going to come up, bring the dog's paws down, do her burpee, come in, and if the dog cooperates, do it again. <laughs> that's always an if. And like they say in TV, never work with I the think, dogs or children. Like yeah, that, right? exactly. And you okay. said, now, if somebody can't do so, a push-up, then mm -hmm. I'm still on So you can do exercise. modifications. Yeah, and I this dog is do... small enough. You can use them as added resistance and do a squat. You want to make sure you sit it back, knees. Don't okay. go over your toes. There you like go. <laughs> there you go. And you can also do a squat with your dog if you want to just do the squat part of the burpee. So you can take them up, squat it down, and up. <laughs> <laughs> the look on the dog's face if you can see it's like. And when they oh, give up, you squat, give them a pet, and come and back it. up. So everybody wins. Uh, if right you'd like stuff. more information on Go Fetch Run and to sign up for the classes, and they begin when? September 8th at 8.30 a.m. at Phil Hardberger Park. Go to SALive.com and click on the Ad Scene on SA Live tab. Well, they talked about no treats in between workouts, but how about when you're done working out? Everybody needs a treat, and oh, we yeah. are going to go inside for something nice. Especially one that will, you know, give them cool an extra boost and yummy. on a hot okay. day. And Stephanie Duncan, the go, founder of Possicles, is here to show us two of her simple recipes and hand out some of these yummy oh, treats oh, already we're, to we, we've got our dogs who kind here. of worked out a little bit. Hey, Max, you come here. There you go. <laughs> okay. This oh, my orange. gosh. Hey, my... Oh. Stephanie, wh which one are yeah. they eating right there? So this one is peanut butter that he's eating. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I disturbed him. Um, and then that one is the coconut. Oh, my gosh. So peanut butter and coconut. Oh, orange coconut. Oh. I, have, so I, I apologize. Orange coconut, peanut o butter. Orange coconut and peanut butter. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Look at them. They love it. <laughs> yeah. And Max is also going to town on his. What did Max have over here? Uh, he, he had, had the peanut butter as he well. He had the peanut butter as well. Oh, I yeah. have. <laughs> he's loving one. it. He's quiet. Orange coconut left. Okay. Here, so All right. So we are going later. to show how to make this one first, right? What is yes, this absolutely. one? Yes, um, absolutely. This one is going to be the orange coconut. All okay. right. So, yes, so we're going to have... need the... And what do we have here? This is... That is coconut milk. Okay, so we put co so, coconut yep. milk in here. Let's go ahead and dump all that coconut milk in there. We have some coconut meat that's... 
And then you put said also with canned coconut, the solids kind of yeah. get separated out. So we put that in there. Yeah. Ooh. And then it, and that's and, why I separate them because it makes a big splash. Okay. And then we have orange juice. Yes. And how many uh, oranges do you want to put in here? So I normally put in three, but um, two will do. Okay. And for time purposes, we will just kind of shorten this a little bit and okay. put the orange juice in there. And then all there you go. do is blend it up. Yep. Put a lid yeah, on there. Is, yes. Okay. We don't want to be wearing this. Now, what would you okay. not want to put into one of these? As far as, uh, uh, I mean, can you put just about anything in there? Sneak in vegetables for the, like you do with the kids sometimes? Uh, yeah, sure. But um, there are some vegetables that dogs really shouldn't have. Um, you know, garlic and onion is something that dogs shouldn't have, as well as um, spinach, actually. Spinach oh, really? Not, yes. You can give a minimal amount, but it's not... It is not suggested. And then grapes and raisins are yeah. a big no-no, too. Yes. Okay. So you can just find these molds somewhere? Yep. Okay. You can just fill them all up. And all right. then I also have the popsicle molds right here, so we can get some popsicles going, too. Okay. okay. And then to make the peanut butter, you use bone broth to kind of make it less sticky, right? Um, uh, or, or a little more? So my purpose for the uh -huh. bone broth was, so I originally made the peanut butter with banana. Uh -huh. And I was like, I wasn't getting what I wanted across with the fact that I wanted it to be a hydrating treat. Okay. So the bone broth is really great for hydration. Okay. Okay. And dogs also love bone broth and chicken. So this is good. You think of popsicles in the summertime, mm -hmm. but even kind of fall and winter treats? Yeah. Those popsicles? So I hope to um, incorporate some pumpkin peanut butter and sweet potato here in the future come the fall months. Okay. And if we need to uh, find some of these, where, do, where can somebody find you? Um, so I'm online, www.popsiclesicecream.com or on my Instagram. Okay. Um, and they can order. I do delivery well, and I, in the greater San Antonio area. I'll tell you what, they are a hit because just looking down here, these guys are just all happy and um, they have just kind of devoured yes. them. So if you'd like more information on Pawsicles ice cream, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much. Yes. All right, still ahead. It's a box of treats delivered to your door, but each one is as different as our dogs. How you can help your pup live a healthier life. And Jen is live at the spa. Plus, our dear friend Felicia Nino is here from the San Antonio Humane Society. Who do you have? This is Edna. Hi, sweetie. Isn't she adorable? Oh my gosh, what is she a mixture of? <laughs> she, we have her as a hound, and she is about two and a half months old, available for adoption today if anyone is interested. She's very calm, so she'll be great with any family. She is sweet as can be. She yes, is. she would make a perfect addition to your family. <laughs> So this is Vanessa and Vadin, they're one-year-old siblings. They are Chinese Sharpay mixes and they're super friendly, super affectionate, and we are hoping to find them a forever home together so they can stay brother and sister, um, but it's not necessary. So you guys can come down and spend time with them. Have you ever wanted just to get away, go to paradise, and escape to a spa? Well, I'm not talking to you, I'm actually talking to your dogs. Well, there's a place for that, and it's out here on 1604 and I-10. is a brand new location for Lucy's awesome dog care facility. Now, talk to me, what's going on out here? This is Max Goldman, he's the owner. Hello. But, I mean, this place is like state-of-the-art for dog care and spa and treatment. What's going on here, we have everything you would want for your baby. Um, we have self-serve dog wash happening over here, award-winning grooming department out there. We have pet boarding, we have a huge park out there with uh, splash pads, a lot of pool activities, a lot of uh, toys and agility equipment for your dogs to have fun and romp around. This is when your dog is your child. This is where you want to send them, right? This is when you have that extra love for your dog, right? So now we're over here at the self-serve dog wash station that you have out here. And as you can see, you have a customer over here and she's currently washing her own dog. And that's something you can do out here. You said this station, it has everything, including the kitchen sink, right? Yep. I mean, cause they're really, they're sitting in the sink right now and they don't have to clean up anything when they're, when they're finished. Correct. So you get temperature controlled water, shampoo, conditioner, towels, force air dryer. I would want to bathe in there. Look at that. That looks really clean. You have the little grid there on the bottom so your paws aren't going to get stuck in anything. You guys have really thought about all the little facets of what could possibly the, uh, the dog owner would need when they're in here. If you wanted somebody else to do this for you, you also have grooming services, right? We do. Well, let's go check it out. All right, let's do it. Now, this service 
is like a, a package deal, right? Yeah, so you can, some people come in just for a bath, some people get for, come in for a groom. We, our groomers do definitely specialize in scissor cutting. We are definitely very proud of them. They have won Best Pet Grooming in San Antonio multiple years in a row, so we are super, super proud of our team. And look, all dogs of different sizes that are out here, I mean, they're very relaxed right now, right? All right, Max, so now we're out here at the dog park, and this is pretty much one of the most magical things I've ever been a part of. This is like the coolest dog park ever. So talk to me about this. What do you got going on? Well, you are actually in the park. This is our interactive daycare as well as boarding. When your pups are boarding here, interactive daycare is included in the cost. They get to come out here from 7.30 in the morning till 12 in the afternoon, from 3.30 in the afternoon till around 6 p.m., depending on the heat, right? And so they get to come around, play here. We got the splash pad kicking. The dogs love it. They love the water. It's like they're fishes, right? And we actually have a dog named Fish that's here. <laughs> It's their birthday, right? It is Fish's birthday. We're going to be doing the birthday song. Happy, happy birthday from Lucy, Trudy, you, and our finesse birthday. Now it did come true. I mean, this is what dog parents want when they think of their animal being put somewhere else that's not their home. They want to know it's like a home away from home, right? Absolutely. But now, uh, outside of the park and everything, you also have a foster program, right? We actually do have a foster program. Our sixth core value, but not least, is continuing Lucy's legacy of giving back to pups in need. And one of the ways that we do that, besides raising money for organizations like the San Antonio Humane Society, is through our foster program. So if you have a dog that comes to Lucy's regularly, and for boarding or for daycare, and if you're trying to find a foster, or you have a foster pup that you're trying to find a forever home for, when that dog comes here, it pays absolutely nothing. Wow. And talk, who is Lucy? Lucy was my baby. She was our namesake. She lived to be 18 years old. So everything we have here was inspired by Lucy's or Lucy and everything we continue to do is to honor her legacy. Now out here at Lucy's, you guys can accept dogs of all shapes and sizes, right? And we're out here at the small dog area where they get to have fun too. All right, Max, well, thank you so much for having us out of here today. It is a blast, and your dogs are going to have a lot of fun out here as well. Now, tell me, though, you have a deal for first-time visitors, right? Absolutely. We have a first-time client mention this segment, and you're going to get 50% off daycare. It's a first-time offer for 50% off a daycare, 50% off a self-serve, or 20% off your first-time groom. And for more information on Lucy's Doggy Daycare and Spa, of course, you can call 210-495-3647. That's 210-495-DOGS. Or go to www.lucysdoggy.com daycare.com. We're going to go splash around on the splash pad with some puppies. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Come yeah, on, dogs. Yeah. Let's have Come on, dogs. Yeah. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, that's why he came that's back fun. and yeah. smelled a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> now it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if all those specials aren't good enough, Lucy's Doggy Daycare is celebration, celebrating National Dog Day by giving one lucky pup a free day to enjoy everything they have to offer, including a full-service bath. Just go to salive.com right now and sign up for your chance to win. The contest runs until Sunday, September 1st at noon. All right, next on SA Live, be cool, not cruel. A local organization is teaching kids there's a lot more to taking care of a pet than just walks, food, and water. Keep it right here. Hi, this is Cordelia. She's one of our longest residents here at the San Antonio Humane Society. She's seven years old and looking for one of her special humans to call her own. You can adopt her here at the San Antonio Humane Society. That's always kind of sad when the dogs that have been there for such yeah. a long time and don't get adopted. I know. Well, welcome back to SA Live's National Dog Day show. And the Canine Country Club is not only a training ground for world champion agility dogs and service dogs, but it has fun facilities and you won't find anywhere. It's like it's its own beach. I know, and we can tell you all about it, but we'd rather show you. So Jen Tobias Strusky is out there right now checking out everything the Canine Country Club has to offer. Jen, what's it like out there? Oh! Uh, yeah, th that's what it's like out here. <laughs> Catherine, the owner of the Canine Country Club, we are having a great time. And as you can see, dogs are going everywhere. This is great. So tell us about what you do here, and thanks for having us. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are here. Well, this is our agility field. We've got people training in agility, all different sports, from just having fun all the way up to full-blown competition. And we offer classes and all different stuff out here, different events, different sports, everything. And earlier we were out at the docks. So yeah, 
they went run, to our dock. They yeah. jump, they have all kinds of fun. Tell us about what's going on here. What do we see? These so are... these guys are training in agility. They all compete at different levels in the sport. Um, and so we have classes that start from beginner foundation all the way up to world champions. We've produced out here. Rocky's been to worlds and has won. And um, uh, these guys have all gone. Uh, they're going invitationals and tryouts. So the dogs love it here. So this one here is Rocky, as you can see. That's everybody. Rocky. He is yeah. having a blast. And how does the training work? Do they just leave their dogs here with you? Or oh, look at him, look at him. Oh, no. I love yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> these guys, you can leave your dog here. Mm -hmm. We have board and train, so you can okay. leave your dog here. We do obedience. We do rally. We do nose work. We do sheep herding. Um, you saw dock diving. You can come for daycare. Okay. And we can train your dog while your dog's here for daycare. And what is exactly is a no, no, what is it? Nose work. Yeah, so that's scent that. work. That's, that's a lot of fun. It's great because you can do it indoors in the air. So it's a great oh, summer good. sport. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hot out here. <laughs> a little hot, yeah. So we have a nose work club uh -huh. that uh, meets once a month and you can come out and trainers can bring their students and um, you just come out and get to work your dog in different environments. But it's dog sniffing to find different scents. You can okay. do it for um, sport and find different scents or there are workers that are out there searching for lost people, wow. cadaver rescue, you know, search and rescue, all sorts of things. So, so it's a fun, it's a really neat thing to watch the dog do something they can do naturally. And you yourself have six dogs, you said. I do. So you, I have, you know what you're doing. I this place has been here 20 years. <laughs> yeah, we've been here almost 20 years now. And continuing so, to grow. Mm -hmm, it is, yep, yep. And you saw our splash zone. That's yes. our competitive dock diving pool. Yes. And so basically we're your Olympic training facility for any dog sport. Anybody can come out here. Well, I'm going to I'm going to give this a try. Yeah, give it Maybe a try I with can. Rocky. All right, Rocky, ready? Come on. Let's get through. Let's get through. Let's get through. Okay, weave, 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 weave. Okay, what's next? Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> or you can weave again. Let's go jump. There you okay. go. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> well, for more information, go to salive.com. Climb, climb, climb. And we have their link on there. It's a good old time out here. I don't know, should I be a dog trainer? Yes, yes, you're a natural. Sure. Look, there's even more coming. Oh, You've got oh, them all going. Look at this little cutie. <laughs> Jen, you can start with your dogs at home and start getting them to earn their kibbles and bits. <laughs> I hope my dogs were watching. I'm like, you see that? You see that? <laughs> right? I know. I'm jealous of these skills. She would make a perfect, Max, shh, shh. we're on the air now. Hush. Oh, Don't be so needy, yeah. Max. <laughs> no. Okay. I, you know, I can't. I can't. Shh. <laughs> Having a pet is he a big responsibility. So well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a big responsibility. <laughs> yes. And Erica, of course, with Pep is here, and we are going to be talking about the top five things folks need to know in order to be a good and responsible pet parent. And how she can come visit your classroom to teach the kids all about being a good pet parent. That's coming up on SA Live. This is Goldilocks. She's another one of our incredibly sweet seniors. She is a female pit bull mix, uh, but she is the most affectionate and gentle dog you will ever meet. She is six years old, and she's waiting here for you at the San Antonio Humane Society. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it is their mission to teach the next generation of pet parents to not just be owners, but be pet heroes. Pep, the Pet Education Project visits schools. Yes, indeed. And we're not barking up the wrong tree either. And it's business schools for free, putting on fun, relatable events um, aimed at reducing pet surrenders and euthanasias. It's okay, Ben. Okay. See, then that, that made Ben quiet down. <laughs> yes. Erica Fallum, the spokesperson for PEP, the Pet Education Project, is here to teach us the five easy steps to having a happy and healthy pet. Thank That's you so right. much for being here. Thank you so much. Happy National Dog Day to everybody and every pup out there. You know, every kid has asked their parents for a pet, and they always promise that they're going to take care of that pet. But it's a huge responsibility, yeah. and they're not toys. So we go to schools, we educate kids on the five steps to a happy and healthy pet. Well, how do you really get the point across? Because again, you know, kids yeah. are like, okay, sure, you know, it, it's the, the shine wears off. Shh, shh, shh. Right. The shine wears off very quickly. Exactly. Pups grow up to be big, they right. bark, they're loud. So the whole thing is about being engaging, interactive, and fun with the kids. And kids are having such a good time at the school that they don't even realize that they're learning all these really important things that ultimately save lives. Okay, so you have the top five uh, steps, right, to having a happy and healthy pet. Absolutely. Let's start with the first one. Food. You know, our pets, uh, you know, we got to feed them healthy diets. We've heard from lots of healthy pet food 
over here today, but we also talk to the kids about foods that are dangerous and toxic to pets. And of course, water, we always tell kids that no matter what, changing the water bowl is the easiest thing they can do to prove to their parents that they are responsible pet owners. Our pets need adequate shelter if they're inside or outside. We want kids to know that there's certain ways and things to keep their pets happy. And also keep those collars and ID tags and microchips up to date. Uh, care, you know, spaying, neutering, grooming, vetting, flea and tick prevention. We teach kids all those things, but in a very fun way. And ultimately, my favorite step is love. We end every pep talk with a lesson on how kids can show their pets they love them. And we also hear from the audience on what ways we can show our pets that we love them. And I assume also you emphasize the point that the first things leading up to love are all part of loving your dog properly. Absolutely, yes. Everything that we just talked about here, whether it's giving your pets heartworm prevention, keeping them for life, not us sending them to a shelter. These are all things that we can do to celebrate National Dog Day and, and every day. And of course, you, you know, you, you you mentioned a little bit about PEP, but how did it get started? What made you start it? Yeah, so I volunteered at a shelter 10 years ago and I saw how many pets were being surrendered every day because of irresponsible pet ownership. And I knew that if we reached the next generation of pet owners, then we wouldn't have these same problems. So we're here in San Antonio now. We're a new nonprofit in the area. So we're looking to get schools signed up with us. Again, it's absolutely free. And you'll talk to the whole school, maybe an individual class, or maybe just a couple of uh, the kids, Yeah, right? we can do a book reading. We can do an assembly. We can do an individual grade. It doesn't matter. We have a ball of a time, and it's absolutely free. All right, thank you so much. All right, yeah. for more information on PEP, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, they help take care of your pets around the country, and it all started here in the Alamo City. Hear the story behind this company bringing pet health and wellness to the door. And before we head to the break, yes, hello, Ben, how are you? You heard Ben kind of talking throughout the segment, he needed love, and this is Kelly Myring from the Cocker Spaniel Rescue of Austin, and this guy, he's a lover. He is. He is. This is Ben. He's about eight years old. He's a Cocker Spaniel. And he he doesn't have much vision. I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't stop him at all. He is pretty much a sweetheart. And as long as you're holding him, spoiling him, he doesn't he's bark. Fine. <laughs> okay, and again, you can get him from the uh, Cocker Spaniel Rescue of Austin and San Antonio. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Ben, you. for being here. Can I put you down now? All right. A lot more coming up on SA Live. Thanks, Kelly. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our pet portrait reveal is coming up in just a few more minutes. Everyone wants to be the best pet parent, but each dog comes with one-of-a-kind health concerns. Whether your dog has anxiety or bad joints, the Willie and Roo subscription box brings health and wellness customized specifically for your pup right to your door. Kim Smith, the co-founder of Willie right. and Roo, is here to tell us all about how it got started. Because I know uh, kind of getting some of these boxes in the mail works good with, um, say, health products, mm -hmm. makeup, right. and yep. why not pets, right? All that. Why not pets? Exactly. So my name is Kim Smith. I own Potterosa Ranch, so I've been in the pet business for about 13 years. My co-founder, Tommy McNish, was also in the nonprofit world for animals, uh, and he's a mentor at Geekdom. So we said, let's get together, let's use technology to benefit families by keeping their pet happy and healthy. Okay. So what do you do? You go yeah. online and say, here's so my you, pet, this is what they're like. Yeah. Exactly. So you go on our website, willianrue.com, and you uh, fill out a survey. And in that survey, we're going to ask you a lot of questions because every pet, like you said, is different. So in there, you're going to answer age, breed, any specific health conditions they may have. And once you fill that out, we customize this box specifically for your pet. We'll send it to you on a monthly basis so that you can keep it on a recurring and it's even got supplement. their name in it. Just it's in got case. their name right there. So in here we have our supplement that's customized to Roo. It's a serenity supplement, which is for anxiety, hyperactivity. Uh, also along with that, we have a couple of healthy, wholesome treats that are all USA made. We try and source them from small businesses around uh, the country, around Texas as well. And uh, also a toy or a wellness Aww. product. And then probably the best part for some people is the client gift. So Roo is a dachshund mix. So we made a, we sent a little custom decal to Rue's parents. Oh my Aww. gosh, that's yeah. so great. And of course, you yeah. guys are from San Antonio we and are. you give back to the city, right? We do. So we give back to Daisy Cares, which is a wonderful nonprofit. They help keep pets in the home by providing food, uh, vet care, and education to children. Um, they served about 79,000 pets last year, which is pretty impressive, 30,000 families. So they do a great job. Um, but as I said, you know, every box is customized. So here we have our supplement line, we've got nine different ones. What do they range from? So they range from joint to immune protection to kidney support to um, 
digestion, and again, the anxiety medications or supplements. Mm -hmm. So anything that your pet has needs for, we can, we can help them. And the basic sign up is, I, I, I have a Shih Tzu, his name is Max, mm -hmm. and- um, Tell us all about Max. If he's got some pre-existing medical conditions, we'll go ahead and contact our veterinary partners and make sure that nothing we have will contraindicate what he's already receiving. The great thing about Serenity, let me tell you, we have a pup named Winston. He's a Basset Hound, and he has been on Puppy Prozac for a long time. Aww. It's funny, but it's not. It's, right. it's kind of sad. Aww. And so um, Mom joined on with Willie and Rue, and she was able to take him off of Puppy Prozac. He's on our natural supplement now. Wonderful. Love yeah. that. And, of course, there are there are things for cats, too. There are things for cats. We do, yes. It is National Dog Day. I didn't want to. <laughs> but we do also offer boxes for cats because cats need supplements, too. All right. We've got specific and, right. cat toys for and all of that. For more information on Willie and Rue, go to our website. Click on SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kim. All right. Thank you. Next on the show, this dog shelter helps people during some of the worst times of their lives. How they are saving the lives of people and their pets and how you can help them to do so much more. It's a story you need to hear next. This is Flora and she's a five-year-old retriever mix. She was actually part of a 50 dog seizure case uh, taking place this summer and she's a little bit timid. So she is looking for a forever companion who is patient and has a lot of time to give her quality attention and lots of love. Uh, she just needs a human to help her understand that we can be kind and we can be sweet. So come visit her at the San Antonio Humane Society. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's very rare for a shelter to allow domestic violence victims to allow pets to come along with them. But there is one in town, and they're hoping to change all of that. Jen Tobias Trusky shares more about tended treasures. If a woman goes to a shelter, maybe with her kids or alone, she has her pets with her, she's turned away because none of the shelters accept pets. When you're the victim of domestic violence, leaving furry friends behind can be devastating. So they go back home, they have to surrender their pet, dump them on the street or whatever in order to get away. So about 85% uh, of women will go back to the home where they're being abused uh, to save their pet. Unfortunately, San Antonio has the highest domestic violence rate in Texas. So Tended Treasures is ready to help. So Tended Treasures was formed to be three month temporary housing uh, free of charge while they're going through their programs. Already Boggs is seeing a difference, helping victims become survivors. A woman was homeless living in a tent. She was given a number, so she got her pets and attended treasures, so then she could go to the shelter to get help, but she couldn't go to the shelter with her pets to get into housing and to move forward. And this is her passion. I've been there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Um, and I know so many women that have been in bad situations that they, they couldn't leave. I know that the pet is used as a pawn. The pet is abused. They're a means of control. Tended Treasures wants to be that bridge to uh, help women become survivors and not stay victims and to house their pets. Katie Boggs, a survivor herself, still has a long road ahead of her to get Tended Treasures up and running as a full shelter. Um, donations, of course. We've got to buy land. We've got to build a building. Um, so that's going to be big. Um, I need volunteer uh, coordinators. If you're interested in helping, Tended Treasures is always looking for foster families. I get texts daily from the pets, moms, you know, how are they doing today? So I know that they want them back. Yeah. And this isn't a program to surrender the pet. This is a program to hold them so you get them back. I, I have the means to do it. I have the knowledge to do it. I have the will to do it. So I can't say no to this project any longer. I mean, it's been a dream. I've been wanting to do it. And I finally just bit the bullet and, and started to do it. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. Tomorrow on SA Live, grooming tips from the pros. How to help keep the boys in your life staying, looking their best, even when they're on a time crunch. Tex-Mex with a vegan flair. We're cooking with this downtown hotspot known for their delicious meatless menu. That and much more tomorrow on SA Live.
Well, of course, earlier we asked you how you plan to celebrate with National Pup Day. Oh, this is Loki. Look at that thing. And Chris Fryer, Lissy says, Happy National Dog Day from Brody, Jack, and Jake. Look at that little trio. Oh, oh what a My handsome fella. My puppy thunder. Oh. He looks like a thunder. Great guy. Julianne Chassie says, this is Luna from my last visit to Ireland. She won the fancy dress contest at the family festival. I can't even. Kind of goes without saying, doesn't it? Sandra says, this is Ghost. And Rosa Perez says, this is Apollo. Love the shades. Mm -hmm. My boy Onyx getting ready for his freshman class at U of M. Oh, All right. hey! Go blue. Yes. <laughs> Roxy Baker Bertrand says, chilling in the dog days of summer. Well, so many beautiful pet pictures, but how about those pet portraits? We have the big reveal mm -hmm. right now. And oh. just, should, I, should I step over and look? I, I don't know. Should, should, should I look? Should ready? Is it, yep. Okay, go. Go. I'm, ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is my dog, this Cash. Is and Savvy. Savvy. Oh, my God. Look oh. at that. I don't know if y'all saw the, the, the picture of the before, but... Mike, there it is. Oh my wow. gosh, that looks amazing. Great, Glad you like great it. work. I that can't believe is absolutely that. Absolutely gorgeous. EC Kanko did that, and if you would like her to do a portrait for you, or even the, the little tiny ones, which would be a perfect, uh, you know, yeah. kind of like a stocking stuffer or something mm -hmm. for uh, maybe grandma and grandpa. Right. You can go to our uh, website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That is yes. beautiful. Thank you so very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks All right. right. Remember, tomorrow on SA Live, grooming tips from the pros and Tex-Mex with a vegan flair. We'll see you then.